This feels great. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday natural AF makeup look, hence by the title. And if you guys are wondering why I'm talking so fast, it's because it feels so good to be sitting in front of a camera talking. If you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, I was in New York for a week and I filmed the vlogs every day. I will have the playlist of the videos linked down below in the description box, just in case you guys want to watch, no pressure. But I just miss uploading videos talking. I love to talk. But today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my everyday makeup AF makeup look, like I said already. But we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the video because I'm going to do this as a talk through. I'm going to talk. I'm in the mood to talk. So yeah, if you guys like this video, y'all know what to do. If you guys want to subscribe, y'all know what to do. And let's go ahead and get straight into the video, shall we? Yeah. So obviously I'm starting this video off with a blank face and a blank stare. We're just going to keep this super cash because like I said, I'm really, really in the mood to be talking. So the first thing I'm going to be putting on is my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I'm obsessed with this stuff. Wait, pause. Let's put on the cat ears, shall we? That's more like it. Okay, so anyways, like I said, I'm going to be using my Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I love this stuff. But yeah, I had so much fun in New York, y'all. Like I said, if you guys want to watch some vlogs, see what I did. I'm planning on doing like a New York in review video all about like the city, um, like the different parts of New York, the food, the prices, all that stuff, just in case anybody wants to go to New York. And while I was in New York, I went to the Glossier showroom and I got the Glossier Invisible Shield sunscreen, which I mean, I'm not going out today, but this is what I do on a daily basis. So I just do a one or two pumps and I just put this on my skin. Now I'm all sunscreened up. But anyways, so now that my skin is all prepped, well wait, let me use another primer. For our base primer today, y'all can obviously see my skin it was not happy about traveling to New York. So I'm going to be using my Stila One Step Corrector Skin Tone Correcting and Brightening Primer. And I heard Stila was cruelty free now. I'm not sure, but I bought this because I read something that said it was. But if it's not, let me know because I won't buy this anymore if it's not. But I'm just going to go ahead and prime the skin. This is depressing. Okay, so for foundation, I've been loving this like mixed combo, but this right now, which sucks. Well, it's almost out, but it's the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, and I love mixing it in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm only gonna use a little bit, just a smidge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dot the foundation right on my face. We're gonna go ahead and bounce this hoe in my skin with my booty blender. Also, if you didn't notice, I have a pink beauty blender. I got a new beauty blender. I still have my black one, but I also need to clean my brushes today as well because they're dirty as hell. And I always feel like after you travel, you should clean your makeup brushes. Um, So my foundation is blended out if y'all want to come for me. Look, it matches. I saw a foundation on the back of my hand, so I'm just going to give myself a little extra coverage. A little extra coverage doesn't hurt anybody, especially with my skin. I don't want to scare people away. I'm still trying to find me a man, so. Also, speaking of wanting a man, I really want to film a video about, I'm going to say the word, so if any of my family are watching this, don't mind me. I want to make a video about fuckboys. Yeah. I just want to make a video all about fuckboys and how not to fall for them. So I've been like really into like not doing a lot of concealer under my eyes either. But I've been using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the color Light Neutral. And it's just a little like travel size one. I really wanted to try this concealer out and I really like it. I think this is going to be my like summer concealer. Um, but I just put this right underneath my eyes. But yeah, I definitely want to get this in full size. I feel like every time I do my makeup, I'm like this. I don't know why. Anybody else? Because I feel like I'm the only one that does it. Now, this concealer does crease kind of quickly, rather quickly. So, um, I still go in with my RCMA No Color Powder. It's still one of my faves. I do want to try the Cody Airspun Powder, but I just get a little tiny bit of this and just set it underneath, pat it in, what am I saying? I get a little bit and just 
pat it into my under eyes. I don't bake necessarily. I just like to pat it in. And then if there's any leftovers, I'll wipe it away. Also, if you see any of my brushes, they're really dirty. I know, you don't have to tell me. But I have been really loving going with my Tarte Double Duty, what is this, Confidence Creamy Powder Foundation. Um, just because, like I said, I have acne scarring, my skin is going cray cray, and I like to pat my powder into my skin. I don't like to like rub it into my skin because it does disturb the foundation. Sorry I'm not really interesting. If this is your first time on my channel, hi, I'm sorry. Like, just go watch some of my other videos. I'm kind of funny. Now that I have my foundation set, I have recently... Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, recently I've gotten back into my Anastasia... What is this even called? Contour kit? Yeah, my contour kit. And my favorite shade in the palette, let me just take it out. I really just want to buy this in a single. It's called Fawn. And it's actually my favorite. It's this one right here. I love it so much. I love this because it just gives like a really like nice soft kind of contour. One of my old friends, she had this contour kit in this brush. And I always made her contour my face for me. And so I bought it and I don't know how she did it. Hold on Lucy, I'm coming. I just want to thank Laura Lee for teaching me how to do this. What I like to do is I'll spray my face. Just a little bit with setting spray. And then I'll spray my beauty blender, just the bottom. And I will just pat it in my skin. And what it does is it sets everything that's already on your face and makes it look more skin-like. And I've noticed, it doesn't really work in my smile lines, unfortunately, but everywhere else my makeup doesn't cake. So also, whenever I was in New York, I bought one of the Glossier Cloud Paints in Dusk. This one's more of like a contour color, but I have, I purchased this one literally the same day I bought it, but I bought it online. And I got the Cloud Paint in Beam, and it's a really pretty coral color. Um, and it's a liquid, so you just get a little bit on your finger, and I just dab it in between both. And this is going to be so hard doing it without a mirror, but I'm going to go for it. I just like to, and then I use both fingers. I'm really bad at explaining, but I just like to use both fingers and just put it right on the apples of my cheek. It's really, really natural, which I love. What I love using is my Tarte Highlight in Exposed. And I will lightly highlight. I don't like, I don't know, like I, like I said, I've just been like not really in the mood to put on a bunch of makeup. But I just like the like little slightest glow. I also just put just the littlest on my nose, just the littlest on my forehead and also on my chin just to give my face glowing in those spots, you know? So, like I said, don't mind me, I need to get my eyebrows done. But I have been loving what I've been doing to my eyebrows lately, and it's just like, it's natural, but it's like still like, she she got them thickums, like them thickum brows on her fucking, sorry. But first, I just like to comb them out. And then what I like to do is I take my Anastasia Brow Definer, what I'll do is start to shape just like the front of my brow. Um, and then what I do is I take my Brow Wiz, it broke, the little spoolie broke off. So I just take my Brow Wiz and I kind of just fill in little tiny sparse areas. Nothing major, major key. And then what I love, love, love to do, lastly is take my Glossier Boy Brow, which I have fallen in love with. If you guys like natural brows like sometimes when my eyebrows are done I will just use this and um, what I've been loving doing is kind of making them look my brows look feathery this is crazy I don't even wear false lashes anymore because my eyes have been so sensitive because of the allergies like I don't even wear false lashes anymore this is where it gets crazy all I do is I take my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and put mascara on what I have actually really started appreciating my natural um, lashes because not to sound cocky or anything but I do have really nice natural lashes y'all can see the difference I mean like these are just my natural lashes like I'm not gonna lie I think I have really nice lashes this is also the makeup I wore in New York just super natural I wanted to fit in that's what I love about New York honestly guys I will move there one day you can count on it wait for the moving vlogs 
I also like to put a little bit of highlight on my inner corner and on my brow bone. I feel like this video is going to be like the longest like makeup tutorial I've ever uploaded and it's the easiest. It's the freaking easiest. And then lastly, like we can't forget about the lips. Hold on, let me make sure all the foundation's off so it don't look cray cray. But lastly for the lips, I just like using my Glossier um, Bomb.com in Cherry. It gives like a little bit of pink back to my lips. I don't know if you're supposed to do it like this, but that's how I do it. I just like dab it on my lips. This, guys, is the best chapstick to this day that I've ever used. So, guys, this is the final look. I really hope you guys like this video. Sorry, my ear itches. I cleaned them today, but you know, sometimes the critters get back in. That is going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this natural AF makeup look. I know this is going to be my go-to makeup for the summertime. And I will also have my Glossier link in the description box down below. No, I'm not a Glossier rep. Hopefully one day I can be one because I'm absolutely obsessed. Obsessed, obsessed with their products. Um, but I'll have the link down below. If you guys are purchasing for the first time, you guys can save, I believe, 20%. And that, guys, is a lot of money. I don't know how many times I'm going to say, but yeah, at the end of this video. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in my next video.